You are about to learn from Wani Tech Space. This video is about the touchscreen on your PC. I'll show you how to find the missing HID compliant touchscreen driver, and I'll also cover how to enable and disable the touchscreen function on your PC. This video is relevant for both Windows 10 and Windows 11 users, as I will be using these two laptops to guide you. For Windows 10, go to the Windows search bar and type Device Manager to open it. On Windows 11, you can use the same method as Windows 10 or right-click on the Start button and on the Start menu, select Device Manager to open it. In Windows 10 Device Manager, scroll down to find Human Interface Devices and expand it. And this is the driver we're looking for, the HID-compliant touchscreen. It's a common problem that many people don't see the HID-compliant touchscreen option here, as it is missing. So if you have this issue, click on Human Interface Devices, then go up to the Action tab and click Scan for hardware changes. Once that is done, check again to see if you can now find the HID-compliant touchscreen. If you still can't find it, click on your computer's host name, mine is HP Laptop, then click on the View tab and select Show Hidden Devices. Now check to see if you can find the HID compliant touchscreen. Now I'll move to my Windows 11. The navigation is almost the same in Device Manager. You need to click on Human Interface Devices and expand it. In this case, I don't have the HID compliant touchscreen driver. I select Human Interface Devices, go to the Action tab at the top, and select Scan for hardware changes. I still don't have the HID compliant touchscreen driver. So I click on the computer's hostname, which in this case is Dell, then go to the View tab and select Show Hidden Devices. Now I can see the HID compliant touchscreen, but it is not active. If you're still not able to find your HID compliance touchscreen driver, go to Windows Start and type search for RUN, then click to open the Run box. And in the run box, type the command that is showing on the screen and hit OK. You will see the window to troubleshoot and fix computer problems for hardware and devices. Click Next and follow the on-screen guide. When this is done, you may need to restart your device and you should be able to see your HID compliance touchscreen driver. Now that we've found the HID compliant touchscreen driver, first, if the HID compliant driver is not activated, you can try to update the driver. Right click on it and select Update Driver. You'll see options for how you want to search for drivers. Try search automatically for drivers and also browse my computer for drivers. Browse my computer for drivers. Here, select the model HID compliant touchscreen, click next and follow the on-screen instructions. Check to see if your touchscreen is working now. If it's still not working, right-click on the HID compliant touchscreen, select Properties and click on the Driver tab. You'll see the option to roll back driver. Click on it and then select OK. When your HID compliant touchscreen driver is active and working, you may want to enable or disable the touchscreen feature. Right-click on the HID compliant touchscreen and select Enable device. Then check to confirm your touchscreen is working now. If you don't want the touchscreen feature, you can disable it by right clicking on the HID compliant touchscreen, then select Disable device and click Yes. You can also enable the touchscreen by using the command prompt. Go to the Windows Start and type search CMD, then run the command prompt as an administrator. 
click yes for permission. And in the command prompt, type sfc space forward slash scan now. Once you are done typing the command, press the enter key. This will scan all the necessary drivers and possibly fix the touchscreen problem. If this problem is not fixed yet, let's do a Windows update. Use any method you know to open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update and check for updates. If your Windows is not up to date, you will see the latest version of updates. Follow through to update your Windows. Sometimes, simple updates can fix touchscreen issues. Another way to disable the touchscreen is through the Registry Editor. Go to the Windows Start and type Regedit to open the Registry Editor. Expand HKey Current User, then expand Software, and then expand Microsoft. Scroll down to find WISP. It should be in the W section. Expand WISP. Then go to TOUCH and double click to open it. In the right hand empty side, right click in the space, select New, and then select DWORD 32 bit. Rename it as TouchGate and press Enter. The TouchGate will disable the touchscreen from working, and if you want to change your mind later, just navigate back to this place, click on TouchGate, and delete it. If your touchscreen is still not disabled, then the PowerShell command should be able to disable it permanently. Go to the Windows Start and type search for PowerShell to open it. Warning! This may not be easy to reverse, so be sure you don't need the touchscreen feature before you proceed with this method. Type this command exactly as it is. You should pay attention to the uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and symbols. Type it exactly as shown here. Once you are done typing the command, press the Enter key. Then you may need to restart your device and see if it works. Which of my methods works for you? Talk to me in the comments. Thank you.